Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to talk about the dangers of not using unsubscriptions from observables in Angular. So observables is a power to, powerful tool to work with async data in Angular. So when you subscribe to an observable in Angular, the observable stores emitting data and the subscription then receives that data. However, if you do not unsubscribe from the subscription, when you're done with it, the subscription will still continue to exist in memory and the observables will continue to emit data even if you no longer need it. This could end up with memory leaks and performance issues and today we're going to look into it and how to actually do it correct way by unsubscribing. So we're going to add some evidence based things here. Let's get started. So what we have done here, if we go to our app routing module, we have added two routes, so a home component and a profile component. Just added navigation between the two different pages so that we have something to preview. So going into the profile page, we want to add a we want to add an array here, which is going to be 100 items. And within this HTML file, we're going to look through uh, a component that I created, which essentially just creates a subscription. So one subscription for each component, and we iterate through it 100 times. So going to this unsubscribe component, you'll see that we have we have a uh, subscription here being set up in the ng on in it. So we're going to try to profile it first with out having done subscription then we're going to look into it when we have the subscription so the thing you need to do is essentially let's make this screen a bit bigger we'll go to the dev tools we'll navigate to the memory tab here we have allocation sampling so there's here's where we want to be so the way it works is we can start heap profiling then we can navigate be between the profile page home page profile page home page profile page and home page again and then we can stop it and you will see it comes up to 600 kilobytes approximately somewhere close here and as you can see this is quite a lot for having super little code of course we're iterating through one component with 100 subscriptions which is not um it's quite an unusual thing but all right so once this is done we have a sample how it looks like how much in in terms of kilobytes it generates in memory allocates uh, we can do the same thing, but now we want to add the actual subscription. So let's go ahead. So we'll add sub, we'll add a subscription here. We're going to uh, add an unsubscribe to ng on destroy. And don't forget to implement the on destroy here as well. So once this is done, we know we have a subscription. We're also unsubscribing to it. So when we navigate away from the profile page, it should clear all of these subscriptions that we have on the profile page. All right. So one I, once I now start... Uh, the heap again will start from the home page we'll go to the profile back home to the profile back home to the profile and back home again and when we stop this you'll see a significant difference so we can make this a bit bigger and we can jump in between them so you can see this profile sampling comes up to 600 kilobyte meanwhile the one with unsubscriptions goes up to 260 and you can also see that the spikes are not as as high as as here so this one does not really go down when you navigate in between meanwhile this one goes up and down when you navigate between so this my friends is the reason to why you should unsubscribe to your subscriptions in Angular. thank you for watching all of the best bye